Hello, Cool Beans. Yes, I'm recreating something from Eat Venture again. I told you I had a lot of inspiration from that. I'm just spacing it out. But this time, very fitting for after my previous build of an all ages play park, this one is an ice cream place. Yes. So, concept is again taking the layout, more or less, from Eat Venture. Okay, the screenshot you saw at the start. I've done this a few times. I've done a cup. I did a little cafe. I, I think I've done, have I done a couple of restaurants? I can't. I keep, cannot keep track of what I've done already and what is still to be done. But you know, I've had a cute little cafe that I tried to match to the colors of the actual game. I've done a restaurant that I ended up taking more inspiration from the likes of Five Guys and stuff like you know, very like white and red. This one is another layout. Yes, color scheme and stuff. No. <laughs> uh, I have ran with it and it's sort of you're gonna see it's it's the kind of place that's trying to be very fun very like extra quirky like it wants to be very like instagrammable you know it's not just selling you ice cream it's selling you a visual experience and a backdrop for all of your photos whether you're bringing the family around after being at the uh, all ages play park or maybe you're hanging out with your friends after school I like to think all your sims will find this nice, because who doesn't like ice cream? To that one person out there who's like, I'm lactose intolerant, bleh. You're okay. The people who actually just don't like ice cream, they're like, what? like what's wrong with you? <laughs> your preferences are valid, but I'm still going to be a sarcastic little. <sighs> I should learn simlish for um, being a sarcastic little shit, because that's all I am. But yes, it's very blues, pinks. As we get into more of the decor, there's more fun color things. Like some of the rugs that I can't remember which pack it's from, but like it's all sweets on it. It's just very, very fun. And it has a nice outdoor seating area as well. There's lots of string lights out there. There's a nice little seating area. Like, you could have your inside Instagram cafe vibe. You could have your outside beautiful nature landscape vibe. Plenty going on. And see a bathroom because the Eat Venture places don't have bathrooms. Because oddly enough, it is a little mobile game. An idle, like, restaurant cafe mobile game. It, they don't need bathrooms, but your Sims, your Sims would greatly appreciate a bathroom, and I can understand that. I am, I am here to provide for your Sims' needs. <laughs> that, and maybe I don't want to have my Sims having to constantly mop up after their accidents and deal with the embarrassment mood look constantly. Yeah, that's never fun. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's a little bit interesting because obviously following the Eat Venture layout, there's that huge counter space and so many ice cream machines. But that just means whenever all of your Sims decide to hog them all, hopefully there'll still be there'll be enough for everybody. Your Sim won't be stood there waiting on you know Jeffrey Langrab to eventually finish. And I added in the popcorn because like. Maybe you want some salty after your sweet. Maybe you're not feeling ice cream, but you still want something. Maybe you're that one lactose intolerant sim out with your friends that's like, please, please, I just want something. <laughs> and that's valid. The light curtains, it's, it's starting to get extra and attempted Instagrammable. I don't know. I'm uh, both not an actual business owner of one of those places that actually is super Instagrammable and stuff. They're always amazing little cafes and stuff, and whatever else. I don't, I don't, I don't look them up. Okay, I don't, I don't seek them out. I just sometimes walk past places and go, "Wow, that's very Instagrammable." <laughs> um, so yes, it is an attempt, and I think I'm happy with it. Maybe at a future point I'll like, because it wasn't initially the goal. The goal was just ice cream place, and then this is just sort of what I ended up running with, like on the spot in the moment. So maybe I'll like research different Instagrammable places and like maybe re, re not perfectly like recreate one, but you know take all of the like inspiration from the actual physical real life places and like make a dedicated build based on that concept. Maybe. Don't know. Talking out loud. Thinking on the spot. It was fun. 
like I said, I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, I feel like I might want to consider addressing the fact that, because especially if you only, like, have stumbled upon my Sims channel, <laughs> my newer Sims channel, like, I'm a, I'm, as, me as a shrimp chew as a whole, I'm technically, like, on a break from the whole content creation thing, but The Sims, The Sims is my happy place. I love building things in The Sims, and as much as I have a main YouTube channel that is focused on horror games, and as much as I'm making, like, a little backlog for that, I don't want to sit in too many Sims builds because I will have way too many. So I'm enjoying just sort of uploading them as and when they're ready. I did build this a few weeks ago and I kind of forgot about it, but no pressure. Because one, I'm on a break. Two, this Sims channel wasn't ever going to have a schedule anyway. The horror game one has a schedule. The Twitch had a schedule. I'm toying with the idea if I go back to streaming to like maybe not schedule, but again, thinking out loud on the spot just having a chit chat at you and you're like thanks shrimp thanks for the life story <laughs> tell me more about the sims oh look curtain there i told you more about the sims i'm sorry okay you know what no i'm not sorry i say i'm sorry but it's that sarcastic i'm not sorry my my default personality is just not taking anything seriously and making fun of myself but you know what it's nice in a not not self de depreciating way i can't talk today i to keep tripping over like words it's it's fun it's beautiful but see all the little like beautiful art things like everything's just like pops of color like pops of color and pastel vibes together in a absolutely you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it depending on how much you like the colors blue and pink i suppose i am um, you know it depends on the shade of pink I feel like I've had a long, there's a part of me that's definitely from being a young child and having a lot of pink and just getting like burned out and pink and hating it because it was like forced, not forced and everything, but you know, there was a point where I didn't like it so much and then it was still on everything and I was like, ah, Godzilla noises. But I feel like as I'm getting a bit older, I can appreciate pink a little more. I still don't necessarily like it, but some shades are all right. Other shades I just don't like as a color which is valid, that's how colors work. But because pink and gender things, I've had plenty of time to overthink that particular color. We're gonna get landscapey. There's plenty of color out front. Um, there will be all the, the little back area, like there's the nice seating area out back, and there's those string lights I mentioned, and then there is a nice little path to a nice little bench under a little tree that you could just, you know what, you could go read a book under, or you could go take some nice posed photos. Like, whatever your sims want to do, they have the freedom. They can be their little social media chasing selves, or they can just be chilling with ice cream and a book. And it's all valid. Maybe you even have a couple of sims here, and, you know, one one's doing each option. Or, plot twist, third sim doing a third option. Who knows? <laughs> oh. I don't, I, listen, I... I'm just Whee! I'm in a silly kind of mood, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to going after this and I'm gonna try and build a game, a, a house from a horror game I just played that I will release in ages because I played it. I, I have It's gonna be part of my backlog for my other channel and I'm gonna like try to release them at the same time or like in the same weekend so I can be like, boom. But yes, this is my beautiful ice cream place that I still don't actually know what I'm calling. It might just be an Instagram ice cream place or Eat Venture ice cream place. But I promise whatever the title is of for it on this video is whatever it is on the Sims 4 gallery. And my gallery ID is Shrimp Chew. So if you do like this, you can seek it out. It is there for you, my friends. It might be a little further back in my gallery, but it's fine. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Get some ice cream if you like ice cream. Go ahead, treat yourself. What's your favorite flavor, actually? It's always a hard choice, but I love salted caramel. 